Welcome to Lesson 3E of ATC Pro. This lesson will explain the Information Display window. The Information Display window can be opened by clicking on this icon on the right side of the screen. It displays four tabs of information that is useful to have when controlling a session. The Facility tab shows the explanation of the Exit Fix character displayed at the end of each line of the departure flight lists on the scope, here. Also is displayed the timetable of arrivals and departures for all airports in the facility, with the aircraft call sign, destination or origin, and time in Zulu or Universal Coordinated Time. The Airports tab lists each airport in the facility with current ATIS letter, METAR, coded weather information, and the active departure and arrival runways. The Aircraft tab provides a search form to find important information for any aircraft type, including FAA code, manufacturer, and performance data. As you start entering an aircraft type in the search box, it starts auto-filling it in. Note at the bottom is given the pronunciation of the aircraft code as used by voice recognition in the SIM. The database includes virtually all aircraft types worldwide. The Pronunciation tab lists all the waypoints and navigation fixes in the facility in alphabetical order. Scroll down and see the full list. It is very important to remember that to get the best speech recognition, sometimes any recognition, you need to pronounce the waypoints exactly as shown. It is not arbitrary and there is only one correct pronunciation that the computer understands. To close the information window, click on the X in the upper right corner. That's all for now on the information display window. The next lesson, 3F, will describe the user profiles and how they work.